So if you would like to talk, we can uh, chat in the, the you know the chat. You can call in the the hotline, leave a message, or if you're a member of the It's Me I'm Alex sticks. <laughs> Damn it! No, don't, don't. Don't, please. Please don't. Ooh -wee. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Oddness. Happy birthday to you. What the fuck are you talking about? And all this time, you come with me on another internet adventure. Are you okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, bump, bump. What's his name? Bam Bam. <laughs> Why can't I think of it? Ow, ow. Bomb Bomb. Why can't I? Boom Boom. Yep, you gotta pull your dang knob. That's right, Popple. Nothing. He had naked pictures of April from the Ninja Turtles. Stop it! He's making that what? <laughs> Nothing. Let me kill you. All right. Looks like we get like three <laughs> three squads of paint. What is wrong with me? Okay. Three. That is not how I talk. A one, two, three, four. It's me. Ah, uh, Alex. <laughs> I'll see you guys in five minutes. Never, ever, ever, and you can clip this, clip it, I will never sacrifice the artistic integrity of It's Me, I'm Alex for the almighty dollar, ever. Mark my words, Merry Christmas. Whoa. 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 Said, said to play on Supreme Master? I don't... I don't know. Okay, I guess I beat the, beat the game. It didn't even give me a chance to read that. Like, I guess I don't deserve to read it. There's no way in hell I'm playing this on Supreme Master right now, though. Hell no. Oh, thank you, Smog View. What time is it?
I'll tell you what time it is. It's me, I'm Alex time. I, it's me, I'm Alex. Thank you. Thanks. You know, I believe we've had the, the new curtain for like two episodes now, and I still have mixed feelings about it. What about you, Seymour? Yep. Seems like it takes like a second and a half longer to start the show. I think we have to do it, though. Why? I don't know. I think it's like something technical. But I think it looks nice. You don't like it, Seymour? No. Well, I guess we'll get used to it. We'll get used to all the other changes that happen around here. I mean, we didn't always have the biscuit. Biscuit has a name. I can't remember what it is, so... But... You know... Sometimes... A biscuit is just a biscuit. So... Anyway... Y'all... Y'all doing okay? Yep. That's cool. I'm doing fine. Haha, uh -huh, I'm doing super great. Cool. I'm doing all right. I'm a little tired. We got up very early this morning to get a head start on my chores, and uh, well, now I'm a little tired at showtime, so maybe I shouldn't have did that. But you had to do your chores. I did, and I did them. So, now I'm gonna do what I like to do for fun. That's play video games on It's Me, I'm Alex. So, nobody can stop me there. Not tonight. I think tonight... I'm gonna play something a little familiar, but not too familiar. I mean, I'm sure I've played it on the show before. I'd be surprised to find out I have played every single game already on it. It's me, I'm Alex. So I've played a lot of games. You know, I think we might be, you know, I don't know. I doubt that you've played every game ever. Really? You thought I was being serious? Well, sometimes it's hard to tell. You have kind of like a dry sense of humor. Yeah. Well, I am being serious about playing this game. It's a remake. Um, but it's an old remake, and it's a remake of the arcade game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the arcade. And this game is called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. So... I'm going to give it my best shot and see how that goes. Um, let's see. Miss Denise, she got that old game loaded it up. Cool. We should get her a microphone so she can talk on the show with us. I don't think that would be a good idea. Why did... You don't want Miss Denise on the It's Me, I'm Alex show talking to us? I think it would be confusing. Confusing? Why, 
Why would it be confusing? Um, because she's not on the screen, and so, I don't know. So Ninja Turtles, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well. Let's see. All right. I don't think I'm gonna use the Konami code. I'm just gonna do it raw. Go with Michelangelo. It's not sticking his dang tongue out in this one. Oh, look at Mikey fell. That's kind of clumsy, actually. But it kind of gives the Ninja Turtles, you know, makes them more human. So like, in this version, this is the American version, and uh, the Japanese version, um, the points are differently, different. Like, in this version, pretty much everything it gives you the same amount of points, but like in the Japanese version, Different bad guys give you different amounts of points, I think, depending on how difficult they are. It's kind of cool, I think you'll have a counter of how many bad guys you beat. It is my intention to beat them all. There sure are a bunch of them in this game. Quite a few. You know, say what you want about the foot soldiers. They kind of got style, you know? Like the purple and black outfits. Really cool looking. No joke. This episode of It's Me I'm Alex is sponsored by Pizza Hut. I'm just kidding. I could go for some Pizza Hut. That still sounds kind of like a commercial. I don't think Pizza Hut would sponsor it. It's me, I'm Alex. Hey, what's up, buddy? How are you doing tonight? You know, I'll be honest with y'all, the pizza on the desk there is a couple of weeks old. And we haven't had pizza in like a couple of weeks. I could really go for a Pizza Hut stuffed crust pepperoni and mushroom pizza with green olives. Glad you're doing all right. Let's. You 
You got tacos and a burger? I'm jealous. Ooh, you know what's good? No. I was talking to Lids and anyone who might be listening. So I guess that includes you, Seymour. Cool. Um, you know what's good? No. Taco burgers. Uh-oh. What is this on the desk here? Oh, twiddles. That's what he sounds like in the arcade game. It's like, I'll get you, twiddles. They should make a new Ninja Turtles movie and have Colin Farrell play um, rock steady. They can be like, I'll get you, Twiddles! But you know, everyone will be like, oh my god, you can do like a New York accent. Wow. I'm just saying. What are you saying? I should get Colin Farrell to play rock steady. That's what I'm saying. Oh no, he's gonna jump out the window and I can't stop him. I could have stopped him. Why didn't I? Oh great, it's Ghostbusters time. This sounds like Ghostbusters music, sort of. It did. Oh, Stall, thank you. It says, Alex, Alex, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. That's really kind of useful. Thanks for this subscription. That's going great. Thanks. Tonight, I'm dining on turtle soup. Hey, what's up, Nick? How are you? I like it. Oh, that's fantastic to hear, Nick. What did, what did you get? I'm still driving around my 2013 mountain bike. Oh, that's cool. One of my favorite classic cars is the uh, 93 Honda Civic hatchback two-door. When that baby's engine purrs, it's like a exotic kitty cat from outer space. Candy apple red.
That's not what I said. Though. Look at that. Look at that word you put up on my on my screen. Can't believe you would do that. That is what I said. It's true. So, and then you took it there. But I wouldn't expect anything less from you. I hope I said that in a positive way. I'm just messing with you. Oh yeah? Uh oh. Wait, this... I still don't know which one's Bebop and Rocksteady. I basically created the Ninja Turtles. I'm actually Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman. Kevin Eastman voices Leonard. Hello everyone! Nice to meet ya! We're the creators of the Ninja Turtles. Um... Rock equals Rhino. Okay. And Bop equals war Warthog. Or whatever. Or... Oh, maybe I can remember Bop because he looks like a punk rocker, right? Like, Bebop, how punk rockers are always bebopping around, or whatever. I don't think that's what punk rockers do. Is that what punk rockers do, Seymour? Uh... Uh... Nope. Uh... Oh, great. Oh, uh, look at the blue waters of this sewer system. Beautiful. I actually wouldn't mind wading through the crystal clear sewers of New York. Maybe they just boulder dies the water. I'm doing all right, Nick. I thought you said you were doing great. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, great, all right, you know, fine. I'm fantastic. You know, like, Emotions are a spectrum. Yeah. Sometimes my emotions can run the gamut between fine and fantastic. Like, you know, over a period of time. Not like instantaneous, but. Oh, thanks, Nick. Can we not be ambiguous about it since I don't think we've discussed it on this stream? So, like, everybody, you know, it's... Well, yeah, I totally understand that, but you don't have to call them things. Because then people will use their imagination. So... Well... Yeah, of course. But I don't think we discussed it on the stream. People might think you're, you know, sending me, you know, I don't know, loose, like, loose leaf, <laughs> loose leaf papers. I don't, I don't know. 
Ooh, can you send me a sandwich when you send those computer parts? Loose leaf tea. That one does make sense, you're a fan of tea. Wow, I've already killed 193 bad guys. I feel prolific. Alrighty. It's Baxter Stockman. I like how the enemies explode too, let's... That way it, it kind of makes them seem more human. What? Oh. I guess humans don't explode, do they? No. No. I guess it makes them seem less human. So that, like, when you... Wait, is Baxter Stockman gonna explode? Because he's a man. This is like... That's like a dude inside of a flying machine. There's no waving of the hand that he was a robot all along. This is... like... possibly legally an issue for Michelangelo. Because not even the police could murder Baxter Stockman, I don't think. Well, if he's flying around in a murder machine, they probably can. Probably, but... I don't know. Where the hell's Donatello and Leonardo and Raphael? Well, I know what Raphael's doing. He's sulking somewhere. Like... Like a big old Raphael baby all the time. Him and Leonardo are probably acting like a bunch of babies. That's why I always go with Michelangelo because I don't know. I mean, Donatello has a bow staff and he can do computers, but I'm sure Michelangelo can do computers, too. Oh, it's murder! Basically murder. Wait. Tonight, I dine on turtle soup. That's beautiful. I love it. Wait a second. So, like... If Shredder eats a ninja turtle... I mean, the, the ninja turtles are kind of like... Dudes, right? Like, they're half turtle, half man sort of. I mean, that's gotta be what happened. And so, like, if the Shredder makes turtle soup out of the Ninja Turtles, hey! Walk in here. So if Shredder makes turtle soup out of out of the Ninja Turtles, is it cannibalism? Th 
this is one of the new levels that they added to the game. And this, the jumpy snowmen are new also. So. I don't think this game has any voice synthesis in it. Ooh, who put the lights out? It actually says it in the arcade version. We've destroyed 259 foot soldiers and stuff already. At least we have three rest left. So I guess when they were localizing this game for America, nobody had. Nintendo of America was like, what the hell's a rest? Is that like the rest of the turtles? Or like the, re the rest of your lives? Maybe? Something just tells me that it's not a correct usage of the word, right? Like it's a mistake? That's a good question, Waffle. I think that's what influenced me to want to play this day, is seeing the trailer for that game compilation, which is cool. I probably won't get it because I already have all of the games in my collection separately, but I'm happy that they're putting it out so that more people can have it. It looks decent. It's probably going to have some weird changes that I sure do. Uh oh. It's Greaser Fox, man. I saw a review for those at home arcade machines that you can get now that are like, you know, the size of like, I don't know, they look really small, but like the Ninja Turtles arcade one has like four but you know, all four spots. Oh, they're getting closer to full size. That's cool. Apparently on the Ninja Turtles one, controls are really close together. Burger munch going next.
feel free to share what topics are on it too. Did you put some things on your burger? Wink, wink. If you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Aww. I hope that you can take big old giant bites of your burgers really soon. This is a cool little cutscene. It shows the passage of time, which is not something that the arcade game shows very well. My favorite burger of all time is still Mushroom Swiss Burger. It's extra mushrooms. An extra burger too, if they, you know, possible. I've already killed 302 thingies. You see, like, this music here is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme, which is, uh, you know copyrighted and has a publisher and a songwriter and everything. So it makes me wonder if they would try to just sneak this in there. Because this is definitely based off of the, the actual theme song, but they might just try to like, you know, get it past the... I don't know. something to look for. I would say it's prob probably one of my favorite NES games. But I guess I... Well, maybe I'd put it in a top 10 because it does get like, kind of tedious. I mean, there's so many bad guys. We've already killed 336 bad guys. I mean, that's a lot. How many more must die?
I don't think that we clarified earlier that we're not really the creators of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was just making a joke. I wasn't joking. I'm just joking. I was joking. <laughs> what? Okay. Bunga. Oh, sweet. Alright, so now Baxter Stockman is in fly mode. I guess you could say he's pretty fly for a, a, a white guy. I don't get it. No. It's like a offspring song. Offspring? I mean like children of parents? Leonard, you are being deliberately obtuse. Maybe. Why would you do that on its me and Malik? This is a serious show. Well... Well... I'm here to add levity. Okay. Well, Lev did. Alright. Not leave, you dope. I said Lev. Which means, never mind. At least the turtle fan is here. Which, you know. Ooh. Let's get to that secret factory? Didn't we just save April? Did I miss something? Why are we going to a secret factory? There's gotta be a better... Why aren't we in the damn turtle van just mowing these dudes over? What is up with that? Why am I getting out by myself and getting my butt kicked by these foot soldiers with spears? Like, something's not right. I feel like I'm being set up by the other ninja. Dude. Sorry. I feel like I'm being set up. I think they're trying to, to get me killed so they can have more of Master Splinter's inheritance when he... Finally, well not finally, but like turtles live like a hundred years and you know, unfortunately rats don't have the same amount of life expectancy. I don't know if when Splinter became a half man, half rat, if he inherited man's life expectancy, but... I hope in, when they make a new Ninja Turtles movie, they touch, touch on more of the biology of everything. You know? Like, does... The, the Splinter's you know, insides look like that of a human? Or 
more like that of a rat. And are they really all that different, you know? So many questions. Guys, sure, but me through my paces here. So many of them. Dude, there's no way Michelangelo didn't see that coming. Okay, these dudes got giant torpedoes. That's just a little extreme if you ask me. Missed me. Ah, you didn't get me. These ones got hammers, so you know. Ow! Bonk me on the head! Dude! What I would do, if I was in charge, would... I'd send out the guys with hammers, hammers first, and then send out the torpedo guys. That's just my personal opinion. These foot soldiers better go to bed soon. Why? Because they're tired? No. I'm just... You know, even robot ninjas need their rest. Now we're on a skateboard. What this game is missing is a lot of shell puns. I think that they stopped saying shell shock in the game because it made light of PTSD. You know, I guess maybe they thought it was a good pun, but Perhaps not very um, mindful of its meaning. But I'm sure they could, you know. I feel like there's many shell puns that haven't been unlocked yet. Like, wake up and sh sh 
shell the roses? Wait, is that, is that a the... <laughs> Is that a thing? Wake up and smell them? No. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not a thing. <laughs> you gotta. I don't know why he'll put up with, put up with me. You gotta wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and sh. Is it Mario Day? It's not Mario Day. Dick Splash? Not you. I was... Hey, what's up, nuclear goo? Oh... That... Okay. Well... You see, because... I'm in a different dimension. We celebrated Mario Day. We celebrate Mario Day on Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesdays. And so, you know. Hey, what's up, friend? How are you doing? Smell you later. That's great. Good to see y'all. You know, I'll be honest, if I had known today was Mario Day, I might have saved playing Super Mario World until, until today. I see the Teenage Mutant brand. I see what he's doing. Is the world ready for a darker, more edgier Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? You know, they haven't... I guess they started with the darker, edgy Ninja Turtles. And then just kind of progressively made them less darker and edgier, which is kind of dark and edgy on its own, you know? It's like the reverse of Batman or something. So... Like, lighter and beveled. Yeah. Like, how freaking silly can they make them? I say go all the way. Like y'all remember the the clown action figure for the Ninja Turtles that they had? I think they should explore that more, right? Like why was the goddamn Ninja Turtle dressed as a clown? And why did Playmates think that it was okay to put that out for, you know, Alex, chill out. I'm sorry. I just don't understand. I didn't mean to use vulgar language. We do, let's. We do live in a society. Do they have horror movie turtles? Did I miss that one? Probably did, because I'm asking about it. What did they do? Like, put them in a- one of them in a, like, a Freddy hat or something? Please tell me they did not. Oh, I saw that there was the Turtles Batman crossover. I was thinking about watching that just for the heck of it. Clear goo. I don't know. Is it bad? Is it good?
I definitely have not seen that. That sounds funny as heck, Bran. I'm just gonna be in this thing. Is this the nipple guy? This is definitely not the nipple guy. There's a boss in the arcade version that just has the largest areolas. The largest blue areolas accompanied by a pair of nipples. He looks like he's made out of rocks. Val Kilmer is the nipple guy, isn't he? Those are drones from Hack Brand. Oh, that wasn't a flan boss. Interesting. Oh look, they're doing a little juggling act. That's kind of fun. I've seen better jugglers, but... I'll definitely check that out on the stream. That sounds fun. That's a lot of syllables, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that's. That's not how syllables work, hold on. One, two, three, four, da, 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 da. That's eight syllables. Okay. It's kind of confusing when you're counting syllables and you get to like seven and then it just. They didn't even think. By the way, this is Nipple Man. He's all blue on this, so. But you can, you can see his large visible nipples. Network start up resource center. That's great. What is Splinter doing up there anyway? His feet are all burnt off. Why didn't they just, you know, I hate to say it, I don't want to give them ideas, but why didn't they just, you know, take out Splinter? Like, cause this guy's MO is definitely to kill Michelangelo, right? So why are they keeping the Splinter alive? Or maybe Shredder, the Shredder wants to kill the Splinter himself. By the way, if I was Splinter, I would call myself THE Splinter. Has anyone ever been a better Splinter than Kevin Clash from the original movies? I feel like every Splinter after that has just not been as good. What are you seen? That's my best Kevin Clash Splinter. And then I don't even think I can do an impression of a, bla a bad Splinter. Uh, Leonard, do your best Splinter. Um. Hello. I am Master Splinter. Yeah, that's basically how every other Splinter sounds on every other incarnation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Do it again. 
Were you seen? That's wonderful, thank you. How many effing hits does this dude take? I've been here... Like... Oh man... Okay... Whoa! Glad the explosions don't hurt ya. Alright, we say later, Splinter. Thank you, my turtles. Hilarious. <laughs> All right. Now we're here. We got zero rest left. I wonder if that's a reference to No Sleep Till Brooklyn by the Beastie Boys. Nope. Could be. I mean, I don't think we're in New York anymore. Brooklyn isn't in New York, is it? Or is it? Or is it Massachusetts? Um, like Brooklyn, New York sounds right, but so does Brooklyn, Massachusetts. If you're from Georgia, and you guys don't understand, they don't teach geography here. In our public schools, it's actually forbidden. But it's a 100% no, I can't say that's a true fact. I need you guys to trust me if I go making up my own facts. And you find out that they're made up, then, then we lose all the trust that we've built up all these years, you know? They call me Liddy writes and says, Dear Alex, Massachusetts always make me think of Cheez Its. It sounds like the snack crackers. It does. That's, huh. Massachusetts. My favorite type of cheese hit is the white cheddar ones. I think the cheese flavored cheese hits, the cheddar ones are just a little too cheddary for my taste. Ow! Well, that's some nice artwork. Oh, we have to fight it? Oh, I get it. It's a paper tiger. I think this is getting the metaphor wrong or something. This song has the Teenage Mutant Ninja T Turtles <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song embedded into it also.
Alright. Really, two of them? I feel like maybe this game has a lot of filler in it. Meant to perhaps artificially prolong the game without coming up with new stuff. Like when people talk about this game, they're like, it's like the arcade, you know, it's just like the arcade game, but it also has more content. And I don't know if that was necessarily like, it just, the pacing is off. Um, Compared to the arcade game. Oh, these are new. Yes, these guys are something. Whoa, these guys. Are these the guys from Castlevania? You know what I'm talking about? Like Castlevania 3? The little guys that look like this and they hop. I think it's the same guys. No joke. Has to be. Consider it canon. I don't think you get to choose what's in the Ninja Turtles canon. Well. I'm stuffing the cannon with cannonballs, firing it off into the air. What? I don't know. So many bad guys. Save that since I have a bunch of life already. You need to get a life. You need to stop talking so much if you're gonna be mean. That used to be my thing. I remember. Whoa. Is this Casey Jones? That's K Looks like Casey. No, I don't think Casey Jones has that power. You can soft lock on Bald Bull. That's pretty cool. It's cool seeing things you've never seen before in games that you thought you knew. Just like the other night when I was playing Super Mario World. And that mushroom... Climbed up big old... Spiky... 
think. Sure. So many hits. Okay, good. Whoa, it's blowing up. Oh, that's cool. We're in the Technodrome, but we gotta find the Technodrome. I think the arcade version says that it's same thing, and that doesn't make any darn sense. This is a pretty good song. Dude. I think we found this technodrome. I don't know why we're even going any further. Konami, I'm sure that makes good video game music. Do they still make good music? Like, is that even a thing? Or do they just, like, hire outside musicians? Because, like, it seems like they had a good music team at one point. Like, I wonder if the band broke up or something. Like, Konami NES music was exceptional. Or robot dogs. You can pet the robot dogs and change mutant ninja hurls to the arcade game with your nunchucks. I hope there's a pizza or something soon. I got three health points left. Zero rest. We gotta teach the Shredder a lesson. And the Crane, if he's in this. You see, I think the Shredder should have equipped all of the guys with bazookas, not just... Although they are color-coded, so I guess if you're a red foot soldier you get a bazooka.
And then if you're a, a purple one, you just get your fist. Music is rocking, y'all. Turtle power. Alright. Look at this going down the elevator. Just signed off on it either, Brad. I mean, I gotta say, aside from like the stainless steel look with no color at all, I mean, the Technodrome is pretty well designed. Like, I wonder if the Shredder stood around with like a clipboard and was like, you know. And then right here we have like these weird double circuit board looking thingies. I don't know what those are supposed to be. It looks like that. Pairs on the floor for these Mausers. Are these Mausers? No, Mausers look like mice. These stupid ass robots have bowl cuts. Sorry. But they do. And that's just not very cool. Nothing against bowl cuts for anyone out there who may have one. Unless you're a robot. And then it's just superfluous or whatever. Superfluous. Superfluous. Splurfluous. Um, yes, I do. I'll just say it. Say what? What Nick asked up there. Oh, bunnies. Okay. I thought you were referring to the bread. The... Like, rolls, you know? Like, I thought you were asking me if I like rolls. And I'm like, yeah. And then you posted a link, with, like, which I don't... I can't look at, so I thought you posted a, a Twitter <laughs> that just had pictures of delicious buns. Like, I love a hot, buttery bun with my meal. So. That's a misquote. Oh, it's another nipple dude. This guy's red. What? It is! Look at him! What are you worried about? 
Can I not say nipple dude when it's me and Alex? If I can't say nipple dude on this show, I don't even know why I'm streaming. To be honest. With his white boots. Hang what up, Nick? You need to stop trying to cancel it, spam Alex. Because I said the word nipple. Dude. How many hits does it take? If I don't get to fight the Shredder, then I don't get any dessert. of a rickety biscuit. I don't want to. Where's it? Oh, hell no. I already found it. Well. Michelangelo died. And he was sent to hell. To forever live. He's a ghost. And he's haunting the Technodrome. Forever and ever. That's how they that's how they get the shredder back is that they die in the technodrome and then haunt him and then they scare him to death. So it's actually a, a pretty smart strategy. So we gotta respect the strat. The ninja turtles knew what they were doing. So yeah, I'm not gonna do all that again tonight. So... Oh man, I didn't mean that it was time to go. Oh man. I was gonna... I was gonna... You know, do something else, but... You gotta respect the horn, you know? So, oh, you're welcome, Let's Thank you for watching it. Thank you all for watching the show. That was fun. It's a shame that we didn't beat it, but it's kind of like a lesson, you know? That, uh, you know, I don't think we've said anything about it, but Miss Boatner. Miss Debbie Boner is now the stage manager of the show. So, you know, good job for Debbie Boner. She's never appeared on the stream before because she's very private. But, you know, it's like an upgrade, a promotion. Oh, well, I hope you enjoy your shower, Nick. And, um... Uh, you got anything you want to add, Seymour? Yes. What? Yes. Alright. And Leonard? Yes. Do you want to add? Yes. Y'all are weird. Guys, I'm stuck on the show with these weird puppets. 
I don't know what to do about it. Like, like I think they're gonna get me. I just thought about it, and I don't 100% know if these puppets aren't trying to get me. I mean, one of Seymour's catchphrases is kill Alex. Yeah. But I just... I thought that was just like a turn of phrase. Hey, what's up, Adi? How are you doing? No, you must not kill Alex. I mean, I told y'all before. Aw. Oh, I tried to get the producer to get me a mohawk, but Miss Denise won't let me have any fun. So, she's like, oh, but we'd have to, yeah, I know, guys, I told y'all that this, she wouldn't let me have it. She says we'd have to change all of the emotes, but, uh, like, I don't know, it's, I'm, I think I'm gonna start a new show. I'm gonna change my name. I'm gonna change my name to Randolph and start a new show called It's Me, I'm Randolph. Like, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. So, I'm gonna do it. And then every Christmas, I'm gonna sing Randolph the Red Nose Randeer. Oh, yeah? Well, Mopak Randolph the Road Warrior, I would be. Well, I do appreciate all of y'all watching, and the theme song's gonna start back. So I guess that sound means it's time to go times two. When that happens, then that means everybody gets extra magic. Y'all are, I'm sending out magic to everyone. <laughs> so, all right. We well, all have a good night. I will see y'all tomorrow night because it's Friday and our schedule's all weird this week but we always have a show on Friday and we'll probably have one unless the internet is being weird but hey Cap good to see you and all of y'all I'll see y'all I'm, I'm rambling I don't want to go like if the show ends I don't even know if I exist so having an existential crisis. I'm not gonna end this show. So... See? We can't even- we can't leave now. The horn's broke. Right? I don't have to do nothing that I don't want it. Alright, I gotta... Alright, don't forget... Goodbye.